Hello everyone, welcome to Alfonso Academy. I am Sir Peter Alfonso and this is the 8th part of the chapter Periodic Classification of Elements. So in this part we are going to discuss the gradation in halogen family and then we are going to see some important questions based on the elements in the modern periodic table. So to start with gradation in halogen family, the group 17 contains the members of the halogen family. All of them have the general formula X2. So group 17 elements are considered to be the halogen family. They have the general formula X2 like fluorine has the uh, formula F2, chlorine is with Cl2, bromine is with Br2 and iodine has the formula I2. So they are having the general formula as X2. Two, a gradation is observed in their physical state down the group. So there are changes in their physical states as you go down the group. Like fluorine and chlorine, the first two elements of this group are gaseous in state. Then bromine is a liquid and iodine is a solid. So there are changes in their physical states. The first two elements are gaseous. Next element bromine is a liquid and iodine is solid. The gradation is also observed in other groups like for example if you consider the alkaline earth metals which are the group 2 elements if you consider this alkaline earth metals the reactivity goes on increasing as you go down the group also the rate of reaction goes on increasing as you go down the group like beryllium does not react with water next element magnesium reacts with steam next three elements calcium strontium and barium react with water at room temperature but at increasing rates so there is gradation in their reactivity as you go down the group next let's see some important question based on the modern periodic table write down the electronic configuration of the elements from the given atomic numbers and answer the following question so this is the main question under this main question we'll solve few examples the first one lithium silicon helium sodium phosphorus so these are the elements uh, given and their atomic numbers are given their atomic numbers are given so which of these elements belong to period 3 as we know the electrons of the elements in period 1 are placed in one electronic shell the electrons of the elements in period 2 are placed in two electronic shells so the electrons of the elements in period 3 are placed in three electronic shells so here silicon sodium and phosphorus has three electronic shells they have three electronic shells so silicon sodium phosphorus belong to the period 3 so this is the answer of this question okay the next one hydrogen nitrogen calcium sulfur beryllium argon these are the names of the elements given along with their atomic numbers so what you have to do is write the names of the elements along with their atomic numbers and then write their electronic configuration and based on the electronic configuration you can answer this question which of these elements belong to the second group now as we know group one elements have one electron in the outermost shell that is valence electrons is equal to one for group one elements group two elements have two electrons in the outermost shell so here you have to see the outermost shell element calcium has two electrons in the outermost shell and beryllium has two electrons in the outermost shell so these two elements calcium and beryllium belongs to the second group next question nitrogen carbon oxygen boron aluminium these are the molecular names of the elements given along with their atomic numbers so what we have to do is write the names of the elements along with their atomic numbers and then write their electronic configuration and based on this electronic configuration we have to answer this question which is the most electronegative element among this now what is electronegativity it is the tendency of an atom of an element to form an anion by accepting the electrons so here we have to see which element needs the least number of electrons to form an anion that will be the most electronegative element out of this so nitrogen needs three electrons carbon needs four electrons oxygen needs only two electrons boron and aluminium have three electrons in the outermost shell so they need to donate these three electrons to get into stability so here oxygen needs only two electrons to form an anion so among these oxygen is the most electronegative element because it needs only two electrons so among this oxygen is the most electronegative element okay next example 
सल्फर पोटेशियम ऑक्सीजन बोरॉन एंड सोडियम दिस आर द नेम्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स गिवन अलोंग विद द एटॉमिक नंबर्स सो यू हैव टू राइट द मॉलिक्यूलर नेम्स ऑफ दिस एलिमेंट्स एंड देयर एटॉमिक नंबर्स एंड देन राइट देयर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट अमंग दिस नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड द मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिव एलिमेंट अमंग दिस नाउ व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिविटी इट इज द टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम to lose the electrons and form a cation so it is the tendency to lose the electrons from its outermost shell now sulfur has the electronic configuration 2,8, 6 so it doesn't need to lose any electrons instead it has to accept two electrons in in order to get into stability so it is a electronegative element potassium has the electronic configuration 2,8, 8,1 one. so it needs to lose one electron from its outermost shell which is the fourth shell fourth shell so oxygen again same like a sulfur is a electronegative element it is a electronegative atom so boron has electronic configuration 2, 3 so it needs to lose three electron which needs more energy as compared to potassium sodium again has electronic configuration 2, 8, 1 it again again has one electron in the outermost shell like potassium but potassium is more electro positive atom because it has got four shells so the atom is bigger so the effective nuclear charge in potassium is much less than as compared to sodium which has three shells so here potassium is more electro positive as compared to the other element so the most electro positive element among this is potassium okay next example potassium lithium sodium beryllium oxygen these are the elements given along with their atomic numbers so you have to write the names of these elements with their atomic numbers and then write their electronic configuration which of these atoms has smallest atomic radius so you have to find the atom with the smallest atomic radius now two things you have to remember as you go down the group the atomic radius goes on increasing because one shell gets added after every period so as you go down the group the atomic radius goes on increasing as you go across the period the atomic radius goes on decreasing because shell remains the same and nuclear charge goes on increasing so as you go across the period from left to right the atomic radius goes on decreasing so here potassium belongs to fourth period because it is having four number of shells sodium is having three shells so it belongs to third period and rest of the elements the lithium atom beryllium atom and oxygen atom these elements belong to second period because they are having only two shells that means here potassium and sodium are below lithium beryllium and oxygen that means they will have slightly bigger atomic radius the atomic size and the atomic radius will be more for potassium and sodium then these three elements lithium beryllium and oxygen so here we can cut off potassium and sodium because we are asked to find the smallest atom smallest the atom which is having smallest atomic radius so here lithium beryllium and oxygen out of these three atoms three elements we have to find the smallest atomic radius now lithium is be placed before beryllium because lithium is having atomic number 3 beryllium is having atomic number 4 so beryllium comes after lithium because as you go across the period from left to right the atomic number goes on increasing so lithium is placed before beryllium and beryllium is placed before oxygen oxygen is having atomic number 8 so it is placed after beryllium it is placed after beryllium now second thing which i told you to remember as you go across the period the atomic radius goes on decreasing as you go across the period from left to right that means the last element in the period last element in the period will have lesser atomic radius so here oxygen is having the smallest atomic radius next example sodium phosphorus chlorine silicon magnesium these are the elements given along with their atomic numbers we have to write their electronic configuration and the question asked is which of these has the largest atoms so we are told to find the element with the largest atom largest atomic radius so here if we see the electronic configuration of these elements we find that the electrons are placed in three electronic shells all the elements the electrons are placed in three electronic shells that means all these elements belong to period 3 so across the period as we move across the period from left to right the atomic radius goes on decreasing so the starting element will have the largest 
atom largest atomic radius so the starting element over here is sodium it is having the atomic number as 11 so this this period 3 starts with the element sodium so sodium atom will have the largest atomic radius so here sodium has the largest atomic size next example aluminium silicon sodium magnesium sulfur so these are the elements given along with the atomic numbers we have to write their electronic configuration from the electronic configuration we come to know that the electrons are placed in three electronic shells for all the elements so all these elements belong to period three they belong to a single period that is period three now question asked is which of these elements has the highest metallic character so as we go across the period from left to right non-metallic character goes on increasing non-metallic character goes on increasing that means metallic character goes on decreasing so as we go across the period from left to right the metallic character goes on decreasing so the starting element will have the highest metallic character and then it will go on decreasing so here the starting element is sodium it is having the atomic number 11 so here sodium has the highest metallic character okay some more important questions the first one name the atom having the smallest size it is helium we all know the answer it is helium because as we go down the group the atomic size goes on increasing that means we, if we go up the group the atomic size goes on decreasing that means period one elements will have the smallest atoms now period one has element hydrogen and helium so again to select between them we have to consider the other relation as we go across the period from left to right the atomic size goes on decreasing means the element which is there in the right side will have smaller atomic size and this is why helium has the smallest atom next name the most electronegative atom answer is fluorine now fluorine the electrons are placed in only two shells so the effective nuclear charge over there in fluorine is more and it needs only one electron to complete its outermost shell so most electronegative element in the periodic table is fluorine electronegativity is of course the tendency of the atom of an element to accept the electron and get into stability so here fluorine is the most electronegative element name the most reactive non-metal this is the third question name the most reactive non-metal so non-metals are at the right side of the periodic table the right side of the zigzag line so the most reactive element in them will be of course again fluorine because it needs only one electron in its valence shell to complete its valence shell so fluorine is the most electronegative non-metal name the noble gas with the smallest atomic radius again uh, noble gases are group 18 or group 0 elements so in that helium is present so helium has the smallest atomic radius like we have seen in the first question so that's it in this part hope you have understood everything whatever i have explained you in this part if any doubt then you can always message in the comment box and uh, please subscribe my channel if you have not done and please like this video, share this video. Thank you very much for watching.